Hello, everyone. Uh, thank you for joining our X Spaces today. But before we start our discussion about Allo with Mars and X, Andreas and Indra, can you briefly share September's Function X updates? Sure thing. Uh, hello, everyone. Uh, thank you for uh, joining us today. Um, so in regards to the updates, uh, first of all, uh, we had FX Wallet version 3.4 released both on Android and iOS. And it brought one of the, we can say, most wanted feature from the community that requested, which is to add FX swap, FX swap the app on the FunctionX ecosystem section in FX Wallet. And also now when you want to send crypto, you can also input in fiat units uh, to set the amount. And we also had some QR IS payment improvements. Well, that sounds awesome. I recall from the previous X spaces about this upcoming FX wallet update. So it's great to see that it has finally arrived so fast. Yes, exactly. Actually, there will be more updates coming up soon, both in FX wallet and on the Function X website. Okay. I believe we have all seen the mockups of the new changes on Function X website. Yes, I will share a few uh, on the uh, X account. So basically those mockups are only like uh, a part of the whole design and we can't wait to uh, for everyone to see the new pages uh, in regards to FX Wallet and the uh, FX ecosystem. So since FX Wallet is not, you know, an average wallet and our ecosystem has grown since the uh, beginning, we have decided to have a separate uh, page uh, of it on the website. So when will these changes go live? Uh, we don't really have an exact day and time, but very soon. Okay, that's awesome. Uh, so now let's move on to the governance proposals. Yeah, so hello everyone. Good to see you guys again. Uh, for the proposal, for the governance proposal, uh, there are two proposals that has that have passed the uh, governance voting, which is the uh, proposal number 43 to register osmosis pool tokens to uh, FX Core and government proposal number 44 to update the D new DNOM uh, for for the uh, osmosis token. So uh, for these two proposals, you can see the integration uh, to our FX bridge uh, very soon. So uh, we will connect uh, Function X to Cosmos Hub and Osmosis and and you can transfer uh, the tokens uh, from and to uh, FX Core to Osmosis, including the API token. So uh, more announcement will be announced uh, this week. And hopefully you guys can try it uh, starting from this Friday or next Wednesday, uh, next Monday. And currently there is a proposal 45 uh, is live. And this proposal is applying 500,000 uh, USD in FX uh, as a loan for the liquidity on Osmosis uh, DEX, which is the biggest DEX on the Cosmos ecosystem. So we hope with this liquidity, uh, FX pair will be in the top 50 uh, top LP in Osmosis and we can bring more new users for the Cosmos ecosystem. Yeah. I think that's all for the uh, governance proposal side. And hopefully, I mean, I, I hope uh, you guys will uh, will fall for this before it ends. Yeah. Well, you know, it's always exciting to see that Function X is expanding its horizons and tapping into Osmosis, which, as you mentioned, is currently the biggest DEX in the Cosmos ecosystem. Well, in wrap from last month X Spaces, you mentioned about Function X organizing the X Blockchain Warm Up Party together with Pundi X, Mars and X, and Block Temple during Token 2049. So, how was it? Yeah, uh, the event was great. So, yeah, I hope uh, some of them you join uh, in person myself because there are a lot of uh, projects uh, coming to the 
event and uh, hopefully we can bring more partnerships to uh, function x uh, because at the event we 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 get to connect to many new people so i i hope uh, it will be very fruitful between us and i think there there will be a videos and interviews uh publish uh, getting to the event so yeah stay tuned um very cool looks like it was fun and at the same time rewarding i guess so is there any other events coming up yes uh, actually uh function x will be in istanbul uh, from tomorrow uh, we will be attending the global fintech panel that is organized uh, by Pundix and Enterprise Singapore. Uh, and also we will attend the Cosmoverse events, which starts uh, on October 2nd. Uh, we are excited to meet with Cosmos uh, projects and other communities. And we can't wait uh, to share more with you once, once we are there. So expect uh, some pictures, videos. Yes. Well, it's great to see Function X keep spreading everywhere in the world. Well, thank you, Andreas and Indra. Now let's begin with our discussion with Marzenax. Hello, Marzenax, and hello, Shin. How are you today? Can you tell us a bit more about yourself and what you do at Marzenax before we start for the new members who joined today? Sure. Hi, Sabnam. Uh, thanks for introducing me. Uh, my name is Shin. I'm the core contributor on Margin X. Um, so a little bit background for myself. Uh, I was formerly uh, the head of data science at a multinational company uh, for many years. Uh, I was trained as a physicist at the University of Cambridge. So I've got a long way from doing physics, data science, and now, um, you know, a few years back, I'm, I'm in the blockchain world, uh, contributing to Margin X, developing this really exciting platform, uh, which I hope uh, I can share with uh, all of you today. Some of you might have heard of Margin X uh, um, some time ago, uh, but what is really exciting in coming weeks is that we we're going to transform Margin X to really Margin X two point zero with a lot of exciting new features coming. So can't wait to share that with uh, the, uh, the community uh, in a bit. Great scene. So let's start with the questions. Shall sure. we? Okay. So we saw a lot of things announced on your social media and Twitter spaces lately. So can you please summarize the update to the Function X community here? For sure, yeah. There's lots of things happening as we speak. Uh, some of you uh, already mentioned uh, uh, some of the events that we have, uh, that you guys are attending, we are attending as well. So, uh, for example, in collaboration with Function X, uh, we co organized X Blockchain Warm Up Party for Token 2049. It has attracted more than 150 attendees. We'll be also hitting Cosmoverse in Istanbul. Uh, Margin X co sponsored the official pre event dinner uh, for all the Cosmoverse speakers and special guests. Danny, my partner in crime, uh, also a core contributor, uh, another core contributor to Margin X. Uh, Danny will be sharing. Uh, Margin X uh, 2.0 uh, and Allo, right? What we're going to talk about today, Allo to the Cosmos community in the Cosmos. Cosmos. Um, right, for more information on this, I was, obviously, you guys are more than welcome to visit our website at www.marginx.io in our game book. Uh, but uh, most importantly, I think uh, the most exciting bit that's going to happen in the next couple of weeks is obviously the introduction of Allo. Um, and with the introduction of Allo, the, the roadmap for, for Margin X V2 is definitely on track. Uh, and we will reveal more details to the community uh, very soon as, as we get clarity. Well, that sounds great. So it's great to hear Margin X is also heading to Cosmoverse. It's a good opportunity to meet with all the projects and people from Cosmos ecosystem and share what you do. So. By the way, I heard from your latest spaces with Cosmos Club, you mentioned the difference between Mars and X and other perpetual decks. So can you please define the difference between Mars and X and the new version of DYDX here? Yeah, sure. Um, I think in a little more, I, I, 
I guess I'll get the chance to explain uh, the algorithm Allo, um, which is, you know, all the topics here, Allo, Margin X. Uh, essentially, that's the main difference, right? Uh, but to put it more specifically to your question, uh, the difference between Margin X and Perpetual Dex, right? So I would say that Margin X is obviously also a Perpetual Dex, uh, but it's also a lot more than that, right? For one, for example, it gives the users the freedom to participate in providing the liquidity pool and in the process profit from it. I had to clarify that a little bit because it might sound like a lot of people has done it, but no. Unlike previous authors that we've made on Margin X V1 or some of the products already out there, right? The, a lot of this market making um, algorithm uh, or the market making uh, bot, right? Profit is, is very dependent on opaque market making strategies of vault, right? But in the new version two, uh, with using our algorithm, the market making uh, system or algorithm is actually made public. We actually publish a white paper. So it, it, how it actually market makes is made public. It adheres to a fixed uh, formula which takes inspiration from the well-known, well-known concept of formula X, Y equals K. And I think that's what makes it really exciting because uh, you know it takes inspiration from yeah, the 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 concept product formula equals K, and as well as the fact that you know the the algorithm is made public, so um, there's there's nothing opaque about it, right? Uh, secondly, it's also very different from uh, any perpetual decks out there because um, we are providing through this uh, algorithm, we are providing the freedom to this. Basically, that means that anyone with two pairs of with a pair of token uh, can actually put uh, can actually list that token there and start providing liquidity using Allo algorithm. So in a way, think about this, we are very much like a Uniswap, right? Except that we are no we are no AMS. We are limit on the book and we are perpetual. And if you put all these two together, we are one of the kind out there in the market at the moment. And and whether it's the freedom to participate in this uh, liquidity pool or the freedom to list, both of these strategies go hand in hand, driven by the same algorithm, which what we call Allo. Yeah. Um, interesting. Um, so from what you just mentioned, we can agree that Margin X is a lot more than perpetual DEX. So. Yes. Shane, we see the word allo a lot. So what is allo? Oh, I'm glad you asked this, right? Because I, I mentioned that a lot of the, because it, to your previous question, like there are some unique differences and all of this uh, is driven behind the scene by this algorithm called allo. It sounds like hello, but it's allo, right? A, a little bit like a French accent, if you will. But what it really stands for, ALO, it really stands for Automated Limit Order. Now, I altered this algorithm, obviously, with the support of my colleagues and other core contributors like that. But in short, ALO, or Automated Limit Order Book, is an algorithm that automates the distribution of orders in a limit order exchange. Right, it might be a little bit mouthful for those of you who are not familiar with the trading terminologies. But let me break it down for you, right? But let's, before I break it down for you, let me repeat it, right? ALO is an algorithm that automates, that's the keyword, it automates, the distribution of orders, right? That's the second key part. And the third part, the in a limit order exchange. Right, now let's break it down, right? Because I, I think that uh, we, we it's, it's a short name, but it actually has a lot of work uh, going behind this algorithm. Firstly, we need to understand that one of the biggest innovations uh, in the DeFi world in the last couple of years is AMM, right? And why is DeFi so innovative and so such a game changer? Because it allows the automation of exchanging tokens, which enabled anyone to get their tokens. Anyone with pair of tokens at any time can actually list their token based on a very simple yet elegant formula, x, y equals k. Now take that into the trade fly, right? In the trade fly, AMM is not common. In, in the trade fly, you can't even find AMM. In the trade fly world, limit order exchange uh, it's a more commonly used platform, right? Where you place bid orders and ask orders. Now, in terms of trading efficiency, there is no doubt that 
limit order exchange books are far more efficient and far better than AMMs because it allows the trader to trade at exactly the price they want. Right? For example, if the Bitcoin price is at $27,000, right? In a limit order book, a seller can place an ask order, um, ask order above this price and say, I want to only sell it at 30K. And this trade will only be executed if a buyer is willing to pay this price, 30K, which is significantly higher than the, the, than the market price. So a seller and buyer executes the trade at the exactly desired price that you want. But in AMM, you do not get the luxury of choosing the exact price which you, you, your asset is traded, right? You, you trade based on the format X, Y, K. Now, once you understand difference between limit order exchange book and AMF, then you start to understand that why ELO is so groundbreaking. Basically, ELO takes the principles of AMF, right? The automation thing, and apply it to the limit order book, such that the order distribution can be automated. In other words, if you think about it, it's like AMM in a way that you put in a pair of tokens, right? And the orders are placed in accordance to the form X value is paid. So you create bid orders, you create ask orders above and below the market price. It automates the whole thing in place. And whenever someone wants to buy it, you know, the exchange uh, takes place. And then new orders replenish uh, the order book. So what really happens is, which is why um, call it ALO, right? Automated Limit Order Book. It's a limit order book, but it's automated based on principles of the internet. I understand it's a, a lot uh, to understand, but we have a white paper, and I saw a few medium articles explain this in details, uh, but I don't want to take up any more time in this one. So if there's any question um, on the audience, feel free to reach out to me for, for more clarity. Well, that's a lot of helpful information you just shared, um, and it's very interesting. So thank you, Shin. From now on, I will also be saying hello instead of good morning, I think. Hello, yes. <laughs> so what is the process like uh, for listing a pair on Mars and X 2.0? So despite all the complexity that I've mentioned just now, don't worry about listing a pair on Zygen X, right? Because what I mentioned, all that we have done all the hard work for you, the algorithm, the math, the programming. Done. When you as a user come to Zygen X and you want to list a pair, we have made it as simple as possible. In fact, it should be very similar to Uniswap V3, right? So step one, you double in your LPs as collateral. Step two, you decide how much liquidity you want to provide. And step three, you decide the range of which this liquidity is provided. For example, 1%, 1% away from the Oracle price. And that's it. Three steps. Deposit on uh, LPs. Decide how much liquidity and decide the range. One, two, three. And all the math and algorithm is done behind the scenes. We automate your distribution of orders in a limited order. Done. Well, that sounds pretty easy. Um... Now, I would like to share you with some questions from the community, if you're ready. Sure, yeah. So, let's begin. Um, when will the stop loss and take profit feature be released? That's, that's a very good question. Now, I mean, I myself as a trader, I can't wait for this feature to be implemented. Um, in short, it will be implemented in Q4 2023 this year, So, uh, which means it's not too far away. This is part of our initial roadmap for V1, uh, and we will concurrently develop this as well in V2. Okay, next question. Um, if a user decides to add a token pair via the governance board, who will be in charge of the initial liquidity? Um, again, another good question. Um, so I'll always reference this to you, right? Uh, how do you do this in Uniswap? In, in, in Uniswap, when a user plays a pair of tokens in pool, the token then immediately becomes available to trade. Right? So to answer your question short, who will be in charge of the initial liquidity? The answer would be the first user. Because the moment you put in, uh, you play to liquidity, you decide your range, you create the pair, and the pair and the price and the orders are distributed based on the number of reserves that you have in the liquidity pool. Right, so I've used a lot of examples, uh, uh, you know, saying that it's Uniswap because, as I mentioned, the principles of Uniswap and AMM has been applied in AMM. 
that. However, uh, I would assure you that this is, this is nothing like Uniswap because as I mentioned, we are a limit audible perpetual DEX. Uniswap is not a limit audible perpetual DEX. If Bitcoin is selling at $37,000 today, there's no way you can sell Bitcoin at $30,000 on Uniswap. There's no way. It just doesn't happen. But you can do that on the limit order book exchange, which is why it's different. That's good. So, which type of stablecoin or will be available to trade? And I, yes, I've seen some uh, uh, chatter among the community about this one as well. Um, I'll be honest with you, uh, for now, uh, it will be named CUSD, but I think the final name is yet to be called. Right, we are in discussion with a third party uh, project on this exciting collaboration. And once we have uh, finalized some details, uh, uh, we will then decide on the name. Um, I will let you guys know. So, yeah, short answer is uh, it's not final yet, it's not confirmed yet, but you can code name it CUSD for now. Okay, thank you very much, Shin, for answering the community's question. By the way, we also saw that Danny will be one of the speakers at Cosmo Cosmoverse next week. So what is the Mars Next plan in the Cosmos ecosystem? I, I saw Danny's uh, among the what well, listed I don't know if he wants to answer it uh, himself, but I can answer on his behalf. Uh, uh, but you know, uh, Danny is obviously uh, going to be in touch. Uh, uh, not just Danny, obviously, but Mars Next in general is going to be in touch with uh, Cosmos based projects. Uh, and code KL introducing Hello and um, how MarginX can actually add value and enhance existing uh, projects on LP tokens. Um, we also can penetrate into uh, other Cosmos projects and its ecosystem, helping them to utilize or supercharge the either assets such as the LP tokens, uh, treasury tokens, uh, to create a progression market. Yeah, so it's a lot, a, a lot is uh, you know being done even as we speak right now. Well, exciting times. Best of luck, Mars and X, with such a DEX. I am sure there will be many people who would like to learn more about it. Regarding Cosmos itself, we heard Danny mention LP from Osmosis during the session with Cosmos Club. Can you please elaborate it here for the Function X community? And why is it bullish for FX? Um, yes, the objective is more than is that we, yeah, the the objective with MarginX is that we initially accept LPs from Cosmos, like at many particular from uh, no, Cosmos. That's a collateral, right? We want to accept this LP as a collateral so that user can start trading and investing in MarginX. We, we call this supercharging your either. Uh, sorry, I'm a bit tongue tied to my. Um, we call this supercharging your idle assets uh, because LP tokens will be lying there as, as your idle assets if you don't do anything with it. But, you know, you can use it as collateral or margin X and, and you can start trading on our platform. So it's supercharging your IDA assets. But further into the future, we aim to do the same for EVM uh, compatible. So so from uh, Osmosis, uh, you know, the uh, from Osmosis, Cosmos to EVM compatible. In any case, whichever projects that we'll be working with, margin X will definitely continue to use uh, FX as gas fee. Uh, so this is uh, something that we've pledged uh, about one point, uh, you know, two years ago, one years ago, and so we continue to do that. Um, and so um, I think this will be really exciting times for FX. Um, remember to follow MarginX uh, and FunctionX, uh, you know, on Twitter Space for more exciting about it. Yeah, that's great. So on Osmosis, they have a feature called Superfluid Staking. So what's the benefit? For the LP providers to move the LP to Mars and X, while they can receive yield with no risk on superfluid staking. Uh, um, I can share a little bit of my own view. Um, perhaps, um, uh, yeah, I can share a little bit of, of, of my own view on this one. I, I, I in my own opinion, uh, it's uh, it's very similar to a yield aggregator. Um, use the deposits. Their LP token to MarginX smart contract, um, then MarginX will stick the token with Osmosis. Uh, and at the same time, MarginX will mean the receipt token to be further collateralized into CUSD. 
and send to Apple to provide liquidity. So users can actually receive the yield from both Osmosis Superfluid plus the fees and reward from Apple. So it's a double reward, really. That's how we see it. Um, thank you so much, Shin. So if anyone has any other questions, please feel free to request to speak. If not, then that's it. That thank is so actually much, one. Uh, that is one uh, Oops, request. Uh, Hello, Cryptoric. You raise your hand. Or, or maybe by mistake. Yeah, sure. Um, is, um, is FX Core in any way related to X Core, the, the project by Sologetic? Um, Indra, do you want to take this up? Yeah. Yeah, the, the short answer is no. So. Ah, oh, okay. All right, good to know. Thank yeah. you. Thank you for that. <laughs> Okay, uh, so no more questions. So thank you everyone uh, for joining us today. Thank you, Indra. Thank you, Shin. Thank you, Sapnam. So catch you all on the next next phases and stay tuned for more photos and videos coming up soon from Istanbul. Thank you, everyone. Thank, thank you. you. Thanks, everyone. Yeah. Bye. Bye. Bye.